Hey data fans, Reed here. Today, I wanna to walk you through a very useful configuration that you can add to any table using Tabular Editor. Now, the problem that we see in front of us is that sometimes you might create a report specific measure that is used for a title or for a column or anything else in the report that is a hyper specific place to add to a particular visual. And we do not want that to show up in IntelliSense. Now in Tabular Editor, there's a private property that we can set for a particular table that hides all of the calculations that are in there from IntelliSense, making it easier if you have build permissions on a model. Now this is one part of a longer conversation that Kurt Bueller over at Data Goblins is talking about in his recently released article on report layer objects that you can add to a model and the difference between read and build permissions for data sets. So one factoid that's taken away from this, the link to his other article as well is down in the description and I'll showcase that in the video. But otherwise, let's hop into Power BI and get started. So starting the conversation from the problem itself. Now, if you or anybody else is connecting it to your data set, and they want a clean list of measures that would make sense to use in other calculations. As an example, sales year to date, which I am writing up here in the formula bar, if I wanted to be able to write something that calls upon another calculation, here is the problem. Let's go ahead and type out calculate. And now as soon as I put up the square bracket to pull up all of the measures, there's a couple of ones in here, specifically the sales plus percentage and the sales waterfall title that are two specific calculations that were designed to be used with a very particular visual. So I do not actually want this to show up in my list of available fields or as well down here at the bottom, the y-axis start would be another example of things that are hyper specific. Now, again, I will link you down in the description to Kurt Bueller's great article about this that talks more in depth about many different ways to clean up the model and get rid of this. But this is one really useful feature in Tabular Editor to get these to be hidden. So I'm going to open up Tabular Editor and show us how to do that. So from the external tools ribbon, you can open up either Tabular Editor 2 or Tabular Editor 3. Let's go ahead and open one of those up. Now, before getting started any further, I do need to mention that this is technically an unsupported feature, though I have found this to be a very safe implementation with zero issues from any report that I've done so far. But Microsoft officially does not support this particular property being changed. But to be able to change it, we want to make sure that under tools and preferences that we have allow unsupported modeling operations turned on. With that turned on for the report options down here, we come down to here and ensure that under options here, we have private. We want to make sure that that is set to true. If it's set to false, that will show up in our report. Setting this to true, which I've already done here. Now, if I come back to the model with this set to true and saved, that will ensure that that table has been hidden out of the report. And we're only going to see it for the developers, not their data consumers. So coming back out of this, and now let's see what we happen when I put the square bracket to show me my list of measures. This is now showing me a filtered list where I do not see any of those report level measures anymore. So it filters it out of both the IntelliSense and as you can see from the data and fields list over here, that that table is also gone as well. So it does look like it's been deleted from the model. If we go to the modeling view, we can see that the table itself is not actually showing up in here anymore. If we come back to external tools and go to tabular editor three, it will still be in the report DAC section over here, but it has been at least completely hidden out of the report. So if you want to make any changes, you do need to actually essentially add and remove the items directly from within tabular editor versus doing it from the desktop environment. But that private setting will basically completely hide this out of the Power BI desktop or shared data set experience. And as I mentioned, this is something that I learned from Kurt Bueller over at Data Goblins. The article in front of us that we see here is very extensive on a conversation around reporting, checklists, and a lot of things you can do at the report level for customizations, hacks, quote unquote, and upgrades. So I highly recommend checking that out. Kurt does amazing content and one of the best out there for creating summarized information like this. So please go check that article out for more information related to what you just saw here today. If you liked the video, check out some of our related content. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe if you like the video. It helps the channel grow. And as always, I will see you in my next video.